Madam President, uh, thank you. Uh, just a few weeks ago, uh, in November, uh, in communities across our country, our nation's men and women in uniform were honored on Veterans Day for their service to our nation. I'd like to share a story with my colleagues of one exceptional Kansas veteran who is no longer with us, but whose story stands as a lasting tribute to the members of our armed forces, whose courage and sacrifice preserves our freedoms. Father Emil Capon was born in Pilsen, Kansas in 1916 and served as a Catholic priest in the Diocese of Wichita for four years before volunteering for the U.S. Army in 1944. During the Korean War, he served as a chaplain for the 8th Cavalry Regiment of the 1st Army Division. His courageous actions in the Korean battlefield saved countless lives as he ran under enemy fire to rescue wounded soldiers. When Father Capon was taken prisoner in 1950, he continued to live out the Army chaplain motto, for God and country. In the bitter cold of winter, Father Capon carried his injured comrades on his back during forced marches through snow and ice, gave away his meager food rations, and cared for the sick who were suffering alongside him in the prison camp. When all looked hopeless, this simple priest from Kansas rallied his comrades, regardless of their faith, to persevere until his own death as a prisoner of war in 1951. This good man distinguished himself by laying down his life for the sake of others. Earlier this year, Senator Roberts and I introduced legislation to award this Kansas war hero the Medal of Honor for his actions of valor in the Korean War. The legislation would request and provide the Department of Defense and the President with the authority to grant this important honor. By waiving the three-year statute of, of limitations, the time frame in which it can be awarded, Father Capon would be eligible to receive the Medal of Honor. Senator Roberts and I offered this legislation recently as an amendment to the Senate Defense Authorization Bill, and the amendment was unanimously approved by the Senate. And I thank Senators Levin and McCain for their support. My Kansas colleagues in the House were also successful, including this language in the House's version of the National Defense Authorization Act. And I would ask that with such strong support from both chambers, this provision be included in this year's final defense authorization bill. Father Capon is most deserving of the distinguished award, and I am hopeful the Secretary of Defense and President Obama will use the authority outlined in this legislation to give Father Capon his long overdue recognition. At this special season of the year, we are reminded that there are saints and heroes throughout the history of our nation that put others above themselves and live by God's plan for their lives. May we be inspired by their example and live our lives accordingly. Father Capon demonstrated that one person can make a difference and help change the world. I yield the floor.